back and today we are going to talk about the uh, lecture two which is going to be the structure um, our structure lecture uh, the structure of crystalline morphous non-crystalline and liquid crystal materials so lots of fun material science and structure based topics to uh, get into today so uh, we are going to talk about crystalline materials or our materials liquid crystals uh, short range order which we're going to abbreviate as SRO long range order LRO um, but first we want to start and study with the most simple case, the most ideal case, which is that of a perfect crystalline material. Now, do we ever have a perfect crystal? No, definitely not. <laughs> um, uh, virtually never. Well, okay, maybe at 0K, but even then, still probably not, actually. Um, there's always going to be defects in, in a material, so you're never going to have kind of this perfect long-range and short-range translational order, this perfect lattice, this kind of idealized scenario that we're going to kind of start off with. But... The reason that we start off with this is the crystalline materials are the most ideal case. They're the easiest to study. That's why metallurgy is so easy compared to polymers. Just kidding. They're both difficult, but really polymers are harder, actually. Uh, anyways, uh, so there's always going to be defects in material, but we're going to start with a simple case. We're going to build up uh, basically this framework uh, that we're going to utilize to kind of analyze the short range order and the long range order materials. Then uh, we'll kind of deal with the deviations, deal with the defects, deal with some different scenarios as they uh, come. So uh, just kind of a review, uh, so or get some definitions. So crystal structure is a periodic array of atoms repeats over large distances. Um, so there's both long range periodic order, both translationally. So when we mean translation, we mean that if I take a point here, I could translate and I know, you know, with uh, some vector here, here, with some length, for example, A, this is going to be 2A. I know where the next atom is going to be translationally. There's also orientationally, too. So we're going to look at liquid crystals where you're going to have kind of some orientational order where, again, there's some vector, some orientation. They're all, you know, kind of pointing up instead of pointing kind of sideways, for example, for liquid crystals. So a crystal structure will typically have, again, both long-range translational and orientational order. So long-range translational order, long, excuse me long-range orientational order, LRTO, LROO, so uh, in addition to SRO. All materials will have some degree of short-range order. Why? Because we, as we talked about in bonding, there's still some bonds that are occurring. So even in gases, there's going to be some short-range order. Um, so, but before we run off and we kind of start to analyze crystal structures, specifically PCC, FCC, simple cubic, all our favorite uh, atomic packing factors, everything else, we need to kind of start off with, again, a framework. So we need to define a primitive lattice, lattice constants, interaction angles, symmetries, point groups, Rabi's lattices. Are you ready? All right, let's get into it, and let's get into uh, a very, very important uh, lecture, which is structure, because why? Structure. So I'll see you all in the next video.